Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we will be taking your calls. I want to talk to as many of you as possible. That's our concept for today. First, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. The increasing use of antibiotics in feedlot animals threatens antibiotic effectiveness in the treatment of human infectious disease. New research from Princeton University is the first to quantify feedlot antibiotic use worldwide. Currently, livestock antibiotic use is common. However, only 32 countries have data on how much is being used. In 2010, 63,000 tons of antibiotics were used in the production of meat worldwide. Antibiotics are used to promote weight gain and prevent illness in feedlot animals. 80% of all antibiotics produced worldwide are used for this purpose. The researchers predict that by the year 2030, the use of antibiotics in the production of meat will increase by 67% to 107,000 tons. Researchers fear that using antibiotics in this way leads to antibiotic resistance. The study was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Folks, this Princeton-based research is among the most important research that we have discussed on this program. The use of antibiotics to promote the growth of feedlot animals features low-dose antibiotics mixed into the food of feedlot animals. It is done to promote weight gain and protect the animals to some degree from infections. However, the dose is too low to kill most of the germs, allowing the majority of germs to live with acquired antibiotic resistance. These antibiotic resistant organisms may then cause infections in humans and we're left with no viable treatments. For years, over prescribing doctors and over consuming patients alike have been blamed for antibiotic resistance. And I am sure taking an antibiotic for viral infections contributes to the problem, but not like the feedlot use of antibiotics, as feedlot use accounts for 80% of all antibiotics used, over 60,000 tons expected to reach over 100,000 tons in just 15 years. Now, folks, I want to be perfectly clear on this issue. I'm in favor of our farmers and ranchers. We need the food you make for us and thank you for it. And we need you to run a profitable business or you can't stay in business. But there must be a better way. Scientists, get busy. We need answers. Engaging in vigorous exercise reduces death risk. Researchers from James Cook University evaluated exercise patterns and health parameters in almost 205,000 subjects over six years. They found all forms of exercise promoted good health and prolonged life. However, if the subject exercised vigorously for more than 30% of their overall exercise time, they experienced the greatest death risk reduction of 13%. This study defined vigorous exercise such as jogging, playing competitive tennis, or engaging in aerobics. Moderate activity was defined as gentle swimming, social tennis, or household chores. Now another way of thinking of vigorous exercise is any activity that makes you breathe hard and work up a sweat. Now you've heard me say repeatedly on this program that everyone needs to exercise by walking for at least 20 to 30 minutes most days of the week. And this advice still goes. But if you can pick up your pace a little and work up a good sweat, well, it truly pays health dividends. One other point, personally, I do not exercise because it reduces my risk of death. I exercise because it makes me feel better. While it improves sleep, it helps me to keep my weight under control. Any reduction in death risk, well, that's just gravy on top, right? How about you? Why do you exercise? A small dose of dark chocolate after lunch may prevent the slump that often follows lunch. Researchers from the Northern Arizona University used electroencephalography testing to observe the effect of consuming 60% cacao chocolate in 122 test subjects. They found chocolate induces a relaxed and attentive state. It also opens blood vessels, resulting in lower blood pressure for a short while. But then, blood pressure returns to normal. This small but significant spike in pressure helps to combat the afternoon slump. The electroencephalogram showed increased alpha waves used by chocolates, caused by chocolate's L-theanine amino acid content. Alpha waves are associated with a relaxed mood. The study was published in Neuroregulation. Well, this is welcome news, and, and you know, I think we're all aware of dark chocolate's health-promoting properties. Dark chocolate contains more antioxidants than milk chocolate, so ounce per ounce, it provides more benefits with less sugar. The researchers use a unique, never-been-used method to study the effect of chocolate. They used... In <laughs>
it's a big word, electroencephalography or EEG testing, which showed increased alpha waves, a sign that the brain is relaxed and attentive. Now, it's been my experience that many distort the positive effects of chocolate consumption, transferring the effect to all types of chocolate, even low cacao content milk chocolate. Well, this is just not so. Not one study has shown health benefits to these forms of chocolate, only dark chocolate with cacao content of 60% or more. Since this line of research has come out, I have switched to consuming only dark chocolate with high cacao content above 60%. And I really don't miss the other stuff. And I don't think you will either. A small piece or two is all that is needed. Sometimes you can have a little more. Today on Your Health, we will be taking your call. Stay tuned. We'll talk soon. that nature holds the answer to your health needs? Are you looking for a supplement that's simple and pure, yet really works? If you're looking for nature's answer to better health, look to Aloha Noni Juice. It's pure and fresh, just like nature intended. Aloha Noni Juice is brought to you direct from the islands of Polynesia. Aloha Noni Juice is 100% pure with no added sugar or sweet fruit fillers. It's the perfect addition to your low sugar diet. Aloha Noni Juice drinkers will tell you their vitality, energy, and sense of well-being have improved, along with relief from many painful conditions. Made by nature, proven by science. Aloha Noni Juice contains only nature's best. And now you can enjoy the benefits of our new 100% certified organic Noni Juice. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. If you have an irresistible urge to move when you're falling asleep, you may have restless leg syndrome. This is a puzzling but common condition. It causes you to feel odd sensations relieved only by moving your legs. You wake up often and usually suffer from insomnia. Different medical conditions cause restless leg syndrome such as iron deficiency, magnesium deficiency, varicose veins, pregnancy, fibromyalgia, peripheral neuropathy, Parkinson's disease, or a side effect of taking antidepressants or antihistamines. Supplementing your diet with vitamins C, E, D, and magnesium may be helpful. If you are iron deficient, take iron only if a doctor tells you to do so. If you can correct the underlying cause, you can quiet your legs and sleep through the night. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Welcome back, everyone. It is such a blessing to be with you today. And today we are going to be featuring you. We're going to be taking calls the entire hour, so pick up that phone, dial 800 635 2673. We want to talk to you today. Well, let's get started and see how many people we can get in today. Let's go to Virginia and welcome Steve to the show. Hi, Steve. Hi, Cindy. Hello, Steve. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, Dr. Becker. Thank, Thank you. you. Good. That's good to hear. What's on your mind, brother? How can we help? Um, I've got a. I've been diagnosed um, actually a few years ago with um, fatty liver disease, NASH, and I've had a couple of episodes of hepatic encephalopathy. Okay. And um, the 
two episodes I was hospitalized. Once was in 2008, and once was in 2009. So, Steve, is there any hepatitis C or any other cause of liver inflammation other than the fatty infiltration? No. No? Uh, it's, How, um, how's your weight doing? Uh, I'm, I'm uh, overweight. Okay. And there's a concern about antibiotics? Yes, I am. Uh, I've been uh, prescribed a medication called Rifaximin. Uh huh. And I was told that it's um, an antibiotic. Correct. Uh, it's 550 milligrams twice a day. Right. And um, after listening to you um, talk about the antibiotic problems, uh, yes. I want to try to do something different. What are we trying to treat with the antibiotics, Steve? The um, hepatic encephalopathy, Ooh. the brain fog, and the... Um, Have you the found problem. an antibiotic helps with that? Um, I, well, think, I think what would help you even more is to take probiotics. That's what I was uh, wondering about. Um, we have, take, let me, let yeah. me help you understand what's going on here, Steve. When we have liver disease, whatever causes it, uh, it your situation with obesity and gaining weight and prediabetes on to adult onset diabetes, uh, people tend to gain fat in their liver. And when you gain fat in the liver, it displaces normal, healthy liver cells. The fat in the liver becomes very inflammatory, so it, it, it inflames the liver. This leads to the same effect as cirrhosis. As though you had drank a quart of whiskey every day for years or had hepatitis C, it ends up with the same type of disease in the liver. It's called cirrhosis. When cirrhosis occurs, there's also associated with the cirrhosis intestinal dysbiosis. This is a phenomena first discovered by Russians actually the Soviet Union back way back in the 1940s and 50s they made this discovery that cirrhosis is accompanied by abnormal growth of bacteria in the gut so here in America they don't share that information with the uh, uh, Soviet Union of course so they're a little behind on that so doctors began to think well we know there's abnormal bacteria in the gut in cirrhosis or fatty infiltration of the liver NASH and maybe an antibiotic would help get rid of those abnormal bacteria. Well, for a little while, yes. But when the antibiotic is finished, you get a rebound of abnormal bacteria in the gut, and the problem is worse. Has that been your experience, Steve? You kind of have to stay on that antibiotic all the time, don't you? Yes. Uh, yeah. I, it's prescribed, I think, for the rest of my life. Well, that's going to lead to troubles. And see, I... My hands are tied a little bit here. It's uh, not a good thing for me to counter the orders of your personal physicians. You know, I haven't examined you. I haven't looked at your blood work. I don't know you as well as they do. They've made a decision, and I need to support that. I just want you to be aware that you can use a probiotic with the antibiotic. You might find that's very effective. Now, people, they think about that, and they say, but wait a minute. Probiotics are bacteria. Antibiotics kill bacteria. So am I doing any good taking a probiotic while I take an antibiotic? And the answer is yes. This has been studied. I just would not take the probiotic pill or the yogurt or the buttermilk, however you're doing probiotic, with the antibiotic at the same time. Stagger them. If you have a morning and evening dose of antibiotic, then you take your probiotic at noon and right before bedtime. And I would take large doses. And here's what happens. That same Russian research led to findings that when you push the probiotics, and I wouldn't just take a probiotic pill, I would take yogurt at every meal, I would take buttermilk, you may choose that, you may use sour cream, kefir, there's a variety of agents you can use to restore probiotic bacteria in your gut. And I would do that at every feeding. And they were able to prove People in hepatic coma with profound encephalitis, hallucinations, psychotic thoughts, all they did was put probiotic-containing substance through a nasogastric tube because they couldn't swallow. They were so far gone, these patients, and they did a large series of these. When they pushed these probiotics into the intestinal tract, people woke up from their encephalitic uh, uh, comas. 
and they woke up with a clear mind. And it was an amazing 70% improvement in overall condition. That's dramatic, and you're not going to get that from just an antibiotic. So we restore the gut flora. See, Steve, the key here is the understanding. All blood from the bottom of the esophagus to the top of the rectum, that whole intestinal tract, all the blood from those structures go directly to the liver. When the liver is diseased and you have abnormal bacteria in the gut, you can't clear out the poisons and toxins created by these abnormal bacteria, and that's what's messing up the brain. It's called hepatic encephalopathy, and that just means liver-caused brain abnormalities, abnormal thoughts, abnormal feelings, depression, even to the point of psychosis. Are we making sense to you, Steve? Because we can help you with this. Yes, it definitely making sense. Okay. That was my question about the... Well, you uh, got it. Now, there's, there's some other things you can do. We have learned recently that just exercise, if you did nothing, see, the, the, the typical approach to this is, well, Steve, you've got to lose weight. Well, honestly, that's very hard to do. Maybe 5% of the people will lose weight in a scenario like this, but maybe you can get up and move a little more. Maybe you can walk for 20, 30 minutes. You won't make it far, but you can start moving. You can get stronger. Exercise reduces fatty infiltration of the liver. It will help you with that. Do the best you can. There are some things you can do. Milk thistle helps the liver. I'm going to send you some milk thistle. I want to send you some alpha lipoic acid. I'm going to send you probiotics. Take a probiotic pill, eat some yogurt, and please make it low-sugar yogurt. You can add your own fruit. You know, one little cup of commercial yogurt can have 30 or more grams of sugar. That's eight or nine teaspoons in just a little cup of yogurt. That's not helping you because it's sugars in your diet that lead to the fat in the liver. It's not fats in your diet, it's sugars in your diet, starches in your diet. Reduce those, it will help. You, you should not go on a completely sugar starch free diet. You need a little or you're not gonna feel well. But reduce them dramatically. Milk thistle, alpha lipoic acid, probiotics, curcumin. And I want to send you the green label multiple vitamin and you take half doses, half to a third dose. So it's just a teaspoon and maybe even skip days because the liver, when we're in that type of liver state, you can't process vitamin A as well. You may develop toxicity, so you need baby doses, but you still need nutrients. And I also want to send you foundations for healing, uh, Steve, to help you on your track. Uh, you can use your antibiotic. Your doctors prescribe that, and I, I really shouldn't tell you not to, but you can integrate these same measures with your uh, antibiotic. And I think it's going to help you remarkably. We have a break. We'll be back in a minute. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Each year, more than 76 million Americans contract food poisoning. Most cases are caused by tainted fruits and vegetables, especially contaminated leafy lettuce. But poultry causes the most food poisoning related deaths. To prevent food poisoning, follow these simple rules. Thoroughly wash all fruits and vegetables. When preparing any kind of meat, wash your hands, utensils, and work area before preparing any other food. Cook thoroughly chicken and ground meats. Store leftovers in the refrigerator immediately. Look for expiration dates when you shop. If you use reusable grocery totes, wash them periodically. 
And finally, use spices such as garlic and oregano to inhibit the growth of bacteria that cause food poisoning. Food safety lowers your risk significantly of getting sick. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with astragalus root. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what Astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Call today. We're back taking your calls the entire hour today. Let's go to Indiana now and welcome Sue to the show. Hi, Sue. Hi. Hello, Sue. How are you today? I'm great. I can't believe I was just, I had your book out reading it. And I thought, now I know my answers are in this book, and I got a call from your studio. They oh said, do you want to be a guest? Well, I believe in miracles. I still, I do. Uh, and God works in mysterious ways, so let's take advantage of this opportunity and see if we can't help you. Really? What is on your mind, Sue? Okay. In August, I had a stent implant in my eye. Um, now... He's been trying different drops and everything. I have immune deficiency. I'm on gamma globulin. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Tell me more about that immune deficiency. Do you not make enough antibody? Right. Okay, is it the secretory type, IgA? IgG. IgG. You don't make enough IgG. How long has this been going on? Um, it was just discovered when I was maybe 42. Okay. So there was a time in your life when everything was normal, or at least you didn't get infections all the time. Right. Okay, go on. Okay, so now he's tried different drops. The pressure in my eye did not go down. He said, I am overhealing. So the last step, he said, we're going to try a water pill, or we have to go back to surgery and do this again. Oh. So. He put me on a water pill. Now I'm all broke out. I'm allergic to it. And it, yeah. it's a substance that's in all what the water pills. So he's saying the only option is surgery. And I said, should I not take any vitamins? He said, it doesn't matter. And I said, well, what's going to be different this time? And he said, during surgery, I'm going to give you something so this won't happen again. He said, it's not that common. Okay. Well, did he say that vitamins wouldn't make any difference, or it doesn't matter if you take them, they won't harm you? What, I'm, I want to be um, clear on that. He, he said it doesn't matter. It's well, not going to hurt one way or the other. It's well, not going to okay. make a difference. Okay. Well, you have immune deficiency. And I'm hypothyroid, too. Hypothy is that corrected? Are you taking... That's corrected. Yeah. How, do you feel with that pretty good? Is your energy level fair? Or? Well... Uh, I'll tell you, when I started on the Mediterranean diet, I could really tell a boost in everything. Good. Good. Um, but I'm still, I mean, after surgery, I was getting infections one right after another. Now, not so much, but I still am. Uh huh. Are you taking any vitamins, any dietary supplements at well, all? Well, I just got your rice blend. Okay. I take uh, vitamin D3. But I was just looking, you know, also through your catalog because I know you're having the cell. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, so uh, I'm taking kelp. Okay. Um, okay. Well, so here's what I think you should do. Your vitamins that you're taking, this is kind of a new thing for you. You haven't been on them for years. That's what I need to know. No? Right. Uh, right. Okay. Well, you know, you kind of match up with vitamin A deficiency. Do you not eat much meat? Uh, I don't. Yeah, and, and dairy is, doesn't really suit you? No, I, I, I don't do hardly any dairy, and I'm not good with meats at all. Okay. 
I'm well, now I'm pretty sure you have vitamin A deficiency because our strongest, most potent vitamin A comes from meats and from dairy products. The vitamin A source in plants are the carotenes, specifically carotenoids, and they can have as little as 1 24th the potency of meat vitamin A. Make sense? Uh, also, you probably are watching your weight so you don't put much oil on your salads, on your raw vegetables. If we put olive oil on it, then we absorb more. It, what happens is when we're low in vitamin A, the eyes over-keratinize, and that's what a doctor would call overhealing. You build up a scar, you build up a callus, and it's on the eye. This is a place you can't have keratin. Keratin is the skin product. It's that connective tissue, and the eyes have it, but it's clear tissue, and when, if a callus forms on the eye, think of it that way, it's going to compromise your vision, and it will compromise the canal that normalizes the pressure in the forward eye and the back of the eye, which, when that's wrong, we call that glaucoma. Sound familiar? Yes. And also, vitamin A deficiency leads to poor production of antibodies. It causes immune deficiency. Now, the only way to know for sure is to do a blood test to see if you're low in vitamin A. But if you know how to use vitamin A, it's not dangerous at all. You're past the reproductive years, so we don't have a worry about harming a child with high-dose vitamin A. And it could change your life forever. And you, there is a problem with taking a gamma globulin shots. Now, what this is, is it's pooled antibodies taken from blood donors and it has antibodies to all kinds of diseases from HIV antibodies to measles antibodies to strep throat antibodies, everything that the population is exposed to and develops immunity to. It's purified so there's no infectious agents in it. But what happens is when you take gamma globulin on a regular basis and a typical shot can last up to 90 days, 30 to 90 days, depending on the person. When you take that chronically, whatever little antibody you make is suppressed. You lose your ability to make antibodies when you take them internally on a long-term basis. So let's say you run out of gamma globulin. Let's say you're on a trip or you go to a third world country, let's just say, for example, sake, and you can't find it. You're going to be in a profound immune deficient state. Understood, Sue? Yes, I'm on the IV every week. Yeah, well, it's even more that way. So the ideal, now I'm not saying you shouldn't do this. You've got to support your immune system and you can't have infections all the time. You certainly don't need herpes of the eye. So you do what you have to do. But what I want to do for you is it is, could possibly lead to your body rebounding and making its own antibodies and the immune system comes up and is highly active again. And it's absolutely worth doing because none of this is dangerous. They're all necessary nutrients and food extracts. You don't have a lot to lose. Are you in, Sue? Yes. Yeah, okay. Here's what I would do. You need vitamin D. I would take 10,000 international units of vitamin D every day for a month, maybe two months. Get your vitamin D level up real good, and then go down to 5,000 a day every day. Vitamin D. The eyes need vitamin D, too. Next is cod liver oil. Cod liver oil will give you your omega-3s. It'll also give you about 2,500 international units of pure retinol vitamin A with every tablespoon. Okay? I would do that every day. Next is vitamin C, 2 grams, 3 times a day. Vitamin C helps tissues to heal. I don't have time to go on the details, but vitamin C can do wonders for this type of problem. The uh, rice-based multiple vitamin is good. It has some vitamin A in it. It has a little vitamin C, but it has amino acids, which we use to make antibodies. It has all the B vitamins and all the things you need, except for the omega-3. See, that we don't put that in a powder vitamin. Next, I want to give you Mushroom complex. Mushroom, the medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans. They activate the immune system. It's going to help. Next is probiotics. Eat yogurt. Take a probiotic. Every meal should have a probiotic source. And if, you, if you've had enough yogurt for one day, take the pill. But every meal has a probiotic source to it. I want to send you zinc lozenges. Zinc lozenges. Zinc is a critical immune nutrient mineral. What happens? Zinc is used by the body to initiate the inflammatory reaction that occurs with an infection. 
but it also calms the inflammation after the infection's being cared for. If you're low in zinc, you get the inflammatory reaction and it never calms. So you develop chronic infections, recurrent one and again over and over when you don't have enough zinc. You already have my book, so I'm gonna send you one to give to a friend. This is something I would really like everybody to understand and promote. Share this knowledge with others. There are people suffering out there and we can help them. Hang in there, Sue. Your care package is on the way. We have a break. We'll be right back. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioNnovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. More and more people suffer from asthma. One cause is obvious. The world is a polluted place and the air we breathe is not always healthy. But other causes of asthma aren't as obvious. Recent research connects a poor quality, high sugar diet and the frequent use of antibiotics to higher rates of asthma and cases of asthma that are tougher to treat. Fast food diet does not meet our nutritional needs. Plus, the indiscriminate use of antibiotics can seriously disturb the delicate balance of healthy microbes in our intestinal tract. So switch to a garden fresh diet that calms and prevents asthma. Eat fruit-like veggies such as tomatoes, cucumbers, and eggplant. Eat yogurt, ginger, turmeric, and take fish oil. Nature holds the answer, but it's up to us to make healthy choices. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. For thousands of years, Eastern health practitioners have used mushrooms for a variety of treatments. And recently, scientists everywhere in the world have turned to mushrooms in search of health-promoting compounds. These are known as medicinal mushrooms. Among some of the most potent are ABM, Mayataki, Rishi, Shiitake, and Cordyceps sinensis. And Bioinnovations, we've made available four of the most powerful mushrooms in one easy-to-use formula. We call it the Mushroom Complex. We also offer the amazing mushroom Cordyceps sinensis in a standalone formula. Cordyceps helps boost energy, an amazing discovery now used in both Eastern and Western medicine. So take advantage of thousands of years of health knowledge. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone. Just want to get you that phone number, 800-635-2673. If you've tried calling today, try again, please. We want to talk to you. Well, let's go to South Carolina now and welcome Johanna to the show. Hi, Johanna. Hello. How are we doing? Oh, well, we're great. doing great. How are you? I'm doing better, yes. Better. Okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, you were talking about the olive leaf. That is exactly what I wanted to know more about. Uh, I I am on Corec. It's a okay. blood pressure medicine. Yes. Well, the thing is, I actually don't have high blood pressure, but it is, I get nervous, and I'm on a lot of stress. And okay. that is why, but if I am calm, my blood pressure is normal. But anyway, I have been on Corec a low dose, uh, 3.125 milligrams twice a day, but it is giving me a lot of problems, and now I developed also a urinary tract infection oh, oh with it. Okay. And 
uh, Johanna, I have, uh, Johanna, how long have you had high blood pressure? Or the stress-induced uh, anxiety? Me see. Well, let me see. Um, probably not even two years. Not two years. And may I ask your age? I apologize, but it's no, important. No, 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 that's fine. Uh, I will be 70, 79 in August. Okay. Well, how's the rest of your health doing? Are you in pretty uh, good shape? Pre you pretty good. I, I was uh, a couple years uh, after I had a bad car accident and broke my sternum and everything. Oh, right. And then all of a sudden, one thing after another happened. All of a sudden, they had to give me a uh, valve replacement. And... Uh, and then later on, we discovered I had lung cancer. Oh my! And in November 2013, I had a lung um, operation, and it was cancer, but mm -hmm. not caused by smoking mm -hmm. because I don't smoke either. That happens. Anyway, I had uh, um, <laughs> the uh, what is this again? She for for uh, the cancer. Yes. I had chemo. Chemo, right. Uh, for six months. Okay. That's all and gone now. We're in remission with that. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm fine. I don't have it no more. Oh, that's that's a godsend. Thank you very yes. much for that. Well, that is the law. Okay. Because they wanted also to uh, take me later uh, radiation, but I was very against that. Yeah, you had enough. And I prayed right, about right. it. Okay, and Joanna. Now, let me let's, know. Yes. now listen up here. This blood pressure issue is very important. Uh, health experts say that hypertension, high blood pressure is the number one health threat in America. And it leads to heart disease and stroke, and this is our major killer, and that's understandable. If the same experts would follow vitamin D research, they'd soon learn that essential hypertension is caused by vitamin D deficiency. I'm convinced of it, and the researchers are who have done the research. They have written that they have proven that vitamin D deficiency leads to essential hypertension. And yet our American doctors, they prescribe drug after drug after drug, and I agree the pressure needs to come down. That's not a problem for me, but they completely ignore the vitamin D research. The pills cost $5 a piece. Vitamin D costs 15 cents a day. Maybe that's why they don't prescribe it. Do you think? Could it be? Well, in any event, we need vitamin D. It helps keep the blood pressure down. Are you taking any supplements, Johanna? Uh, any vitamin D at all? Oh, for a long time, and my uh, blood count for vitamin D is 82. 82. Yes, well, good. I take 60,000 milligrams a day. 6,000? Yes. Uh-huh. Three okay. times 2,000 okay. well, milligrams. Well, now, now listen, listen. 82 may be a little high, but you're close. You're fine. Maybe skip one day a week. One day a week you don't take it. I like to see it around 70, but you're good. I don't want you to tinker too much with it. That's very good. If you weren't doing this, I promise you, your blood pressure would be over 200. See, here's the phenomena. When we get up in years, where you're, you're almost 80, the blood vessels get stiff and rigid. If we don't have a little higher pressure, not enough blood gets through and you feel weak, tired, and you can have angina because the heart's not getting enough oxygen. You can have blackout spells because the brain's not getting a lot of enough oxygen. So you, at, what's your blood pressure? What's your recent blood pressure reading? Well, uh, to tell you honest, this morning, if I'm relaxed, it was 116 over... Well, let me see. 116 over 75, and my pulse was 62. And but what, what about when you're stressed? How high does it go? I can go to 150. Yeah. Well, we, we need to avoid stress. Well, continue your vitamin D. You should take a little potassium, too. You know, here's the thing with strokes and heart attacks. If your potassium level is high normal, which would be like four and a half, to five, the units would be four and a half to five, about there. If your potassium level's high, you'll have less than half the risk of heart attack or stroke. Plus, here's the big one. If you do have a heart attack or stroke, you're about 90% less likely to die. 
The death of a heart attack comes from fatal arrhythmias of the heart, and you're much more likely to have that fatal arrhythmia if your potassium level is low. How do we get potassium? Fruits and vegetables. They're in a wide variety of foods, but they need to be fresh foods. It's always, in my opinion, a wise idea in this setting, like yours, to supplement potassium. And you can get that at the health food store. Your doctor can prescribe it so it's on your insurance. Take a potassium supplement. Take fish oil. Fish oil helps to soften and keep those blood vessels pliable so the blood pressure, so the, the artery can respond to the heartbeat without increasing pressure. Also, a good multiple vitamin is coming your way. I want to send you an active adult that's excellent for you. And, you know, either fish oil or cod liver oil, either one would be really good for you for the omega-3s. And the rest of it is really just trying to get a little exercise, appreciate what you have, let the stress go, leave it to God. There are a lot of ways to deal with this stress and anxiety so it doesn't pop your, your blood pressure up. But the, the point that remains that's critical, Joanna, is that we can't let that pressure go to 200. That's when you're gonna have a bad event. It needs to be controlled. If we can't do it with natural agents, we use medicines. Add medicines to it. It's got to stay down. Your pressure this morning was great. We got to keep it that way. Your care package is coming. We have a break. We'll be back. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. For many of us, the days pass on by. Whether it's living for the weekend, waiting till the kids come home, or waiting for whatever is next, don't waste your life waiting on tomorrow when there is still today. Benjamin Franklin said, do you love life? Then do not squander time, for that's the stuff life is made of. The Lord did not give us today to sit and wait on tomorrow. What we do today shapes our tomorrows. As David wrote in Psalm 90, 12, teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number's 888-442-2128. We're back. Let's go to Kentucky now and welcome William to the show. Hi, William. Hey. Hi, Hi, William. How are you? Very good. How are you guys? We're doing great. I hear you had a run in with a spider. Uh, yeah, it's been going on three years this November. Three years? 
Yeah. It, is it and, failing uh, to heal? It's not healing up? It, it swells up, and then it goes down, and uh, I've tried topical stuff on it, and uh, vitamin C. Uh, oh. The only thing I can find, find out about it is that the vitamin C helps it. But, well, uh, William, William, wait a minute. How do we know this is a spider bite? Because a spider bite should have healed long before three years. Well, it's the only thing I could attribute it to. I was on a deer hunt, walking between trees, and uh, I walked into a spider web before daylight, and uh, it was up, up about, uh, oh, it was chest high. Okay, wh I, where is I, the spider bite? Where is it? Say what? Where did the spider bite you? On the back of my hand. Back of your hand. Did it leave an ulceration, an open wound? No, it, uh, it's got a little white spot in it, like, you know, it's coming to a head or something like that, or uh -huh. you know, like a boil. But, uh, and I got a flu shot, which was against my better judgment, yeah. but my doctor insisted, and uh, the flu yeah. shot swelled up my deltoid real big, but uh, it also swelled the spider bite. <laughs> it was. William, did yeah. a doctor tell you you had a spider bite? Did a doctor evaluate you and say that? Uh, no, I told him what the only thing okay. I could attribute okay. it to. Okay, William, I really doubt this is a spider bite. It, it, what happens with a typical spider bite, if the venom amount is small, you'll get a red spot and swelling. Uh, a, a spider bite does not result in infection unless it becomes infected. Just because you're bitten by a spider doesn't mean it's going to be infected. Doctors often prescribe an antibiotic, but it's rarely needed. If it's a more uh, advanced spider bite, you develop an ulceration. The skin is eroded away, a blister may form, and that breaks, and then there's an ulceration. And then it progresses, and it may be the size of a silver dollar, maybe a small pancake that's ulcerated and doesn't want to heal. The, that can take longer to heal, but even after three years, that would scar in. Absolutely, it would scar in. The third type of thing that can happen with a spider bite is to have an immediate anaphylactic reaction, meaning you have a severe allergy to that spider venom, and it puts you in a life and death scenario immediately, not for three years. William, I really, I doubt it. Now, I can't see that limb from here, obviously, but I, this story is not consistent with a spider bite. I'm a little perplexed. What do you Sorry, think of that? That's the only thing I could attribute it to because... Uh, it well, didn't, William, uh, William, William, there can be a million things we attribute it to okay. aside from a spider bite. You could have vascular problems. You could have uh, a poor healing due to a nutrient deficiency. Uh, any, uh, how old are you, William, may I ask? 82. Okay. Things change at 80. The, your whole life will change. Things that never bothered you now do. Uh, have, have you been a smoker in your life? Have I been what? Have you ever been a smoker? Did you ever smoke? Back, uh, probably I've been off of them for 40 years. Yeah, well, that's good news. I wish you would go see a dermatologist. Would you go see an expert in skin conditions and have him take a look? I tell sure. you, I, I think that's the best thing to do. I don't want a monkey and, you know, mix things up for you and confuse and muddy the water any more than it already is. I tell you, if you go to the expert skin doctor and he says, you're right, William, that's a spider bite, <clears throat> I will apologize to you for sending you around town when you already knew what you were doing. And I'm sincere about that. But your story is not consistent with the spider bite. And I think that you can get help by approaching it from another way. We just need to know what it is first. Does that make sense to you, brother? Sure, it does. Let's I, do like that. Like I say, well, the only way this happened or started uh, just a few days after or immediately, I don't remember, actually. Yeah, after, yeah like but, said, but, but, but you, you walk into spider webs all the time. Did you see a spider bite your hand? Did you see it happen? No. No. Then you don't know. 
You don't know. Tell you what, no, no. William, I'm going to send you a good multiple vitamin that helps most conditions. Uh, active adult, I want to send you a little extra vitamin C because vitamin C works really well on spider bites. You need a high dose, a couple of grams every three to five hours. Do that around the clock until things heal up. But I think you should see a skin specialist, a dermatologist. Let's get down to the bottom. Of Call me back and I'll help you after we get a proper diagnosis. It's the best thing to do, trust me. We have a break. We'll be back for the wrap-up. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number's 888-442-2128. I'm Dr. Richard Becker, and this is Your Health at a Glance. Are you sleepy during the day? Many Americans are in a sleep crisis. They aren't getting a good night's sleep, so they suffer from daytime sleepiness. The reason may surprise you, you may be deficient in vitamin D. According to recent research, vitamin D deficiency leads to poor sleep quality. If you aren't sleeping well at night, you are sleepy during the day. Vitamin D and the hormone melatonin are critical to our sleep cycles. Both are tied to sunlight. This is one of the many reasons why working night shift hours can be so hard on the body. So, if you're finding yourself nodding off during the day, before you turn to another cup of coffee, try some of the sunshine vitamin and see how vitamin D can help you get a good night's sleep. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Different people have different vitamin and mineral needs. That's why Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Multiple Vitamin and Mineral Powders come in four different blends. That's right, when it comes to vitamins, no one formula is right for everyone. For those who don't get enough vegetables in their diet, there's the Organic Green Blend with three servings of vegetables in every tablespoon. And for those looking for a boost of fruit and berry phytonutrients, there's the Berry Blend with three servings of fruit in every tablespoon. And don't forget the active adult blend with extra B vitamins, calcium, and added cofactors like ginkgo and CoQ10. Plus, we've designed a multiple for those with allergies called the Low Allergy Rice Blend. Whatever your unique needs are, BioNutrients has a multiple vitamin that's just right for you. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Your Health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back, everyone. Let's go to Utah now and welcome Linda to the show. Hi there, Linda. Hi there. Hello, Linda. How are you? Good. How are you? We're doing great. What's on your mind? Well, I have tried to get my blood pressure down. I lost 10 pounds. I still have at least 10 more to go, 10 or okay. 20. And um, I just am having a hard time getting my blood pressure down and keeping my anxiety down. How long have you had blood pressure problems? Um, 20 years, probably. Are you on a medicine? No. How high does your blood pressure go? Well, it varies. I don't check it all the time, but... Um, it can go up to 155 sometimes. Sometimes I can get, if I take it a couple of times, it'll go down. Okay. Um, I did get me a new blood pressure thing to put on my wrist, and I don't know how well that works. Yeah, it's um, best to calibrate those um, convenience blood pressure cuffs with a proper sphygmomanometer at a doctor's office or, any, you know, a fireman. 
is trained how to do blood pressure. You go by the firehouse. I have many patients do that. I got this new blood pressure cuff. I want to check and make sure it's okay. The fireman says, sure, I'll help you put on your one you just bought. Check it manually, see how they match up, then you know. You, there can be big errors in these convenient cuffs. You just put on your finger, put on your wrist, you put on your arm, you just pump it up and it reads it out. I've, I've seen blood pressures read out as 200 when it's really 125. I, I can't tell you how many times those things are in error. So if you've not had a doctor, a nurse, a fireman, a paramedic, somebody who's trained to do it and comfortable doing it, I, I just wouldn't trust any of those devices. That, but that's me. You know, and my knowledge about those is, I will admit, 10 to 15 years old, and sometimes, you know, they get better. Have you had a trained professional check your pressure, dear? Is that, have you done that? It's, it's been a couple years, okay. and it was high then, but. Okay, okay. Well, how about when you're under stress? Is it worse under stress? Yes. Yeah. Are you taking any vitamins, nutrients, dietary supplements at all? Yes. Okay. Can you tell me real quick what you're on? Well, I take a multivitamin. Um, it's a powder that you put in water. Okay. Um, and I, I take a lot of vitamins. I've just started taking vitamin C and uh, acidophilus. Okay. Because I seem to pick up colds and stuff real uh -huh. easy. Okay. Uh, how, how much vitamin D are you taking? I am taking... Uh, Two of the 5,000 over the counter. How long have you been doing that? Um, not that long yet. Okay. Here's the part. Write this down. Vitamin okay. D deficiency causes essential hypertension. And 98% of all high blood pressure is essential hypertension. There are some other causes, but they're not very common. You could have the other causes, but I doubt it. <clears throat> this is one of the reasons you go see a doctor. Is they are experts at sorting out the true cause of hypertension. But vitamin D deficiency causes hypertension. I would take 10,000 international units a day for at least three months and then down to 5,000 a day. For most people, that blood pressure comes down with just that. I'm assuming you're eating a healthy diet and you're getting your exercise, but I want you to have vitamin D. I'm gonna send you some. I wanna send you a little olive leaf extract. It helps to bring that pressure down until the vitamin D can do its job. It takes a while for vitamin D to work. It doesn't work as fast as drugs. Grape seed extract with resveratrol is very helpful for women with high blood pressure, especially postmenopausally. Fish oil calcium and magnesium and I want to send you the women's kit healthy balance for her it helps to give you a hormone like effect but only plant naturals no true hormones that'll help your pressure down too but vitamin D is at the core lots of good potassium rich foods like fruits and vegetables keep your exercise going good attitude stress <laughs> release we can control blood pressure in the vast majority of people with just that plan right there if you need medicine, take it. Whatever you do, the pressure has to come down. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for your kind attention today. Your calls were great. Good job, mm -hmm. folks. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Your Health. Bye-bye. Live a Healthy Life, presented by the Christian Television Network. Everything that you eat is a seed, and your body is the field. If you plant or eat healthy fruits and vegetables, your body will respond with a healthy harvest. But if your seed is donuts, grease, and sugar, guess how your body will respond? You are what you eat, so eat healthy and reap a healthy harvest. This Healthy Life Tip was brought to you by the Christian Television Network. God has a purpose for your life. God causes all things to work together for the good that is to make you like Christ. Hi, I'm Robert Jeffers. I'm excited to spend time in God's Word with you. You'll be strengthened. You'll be encouraged. And I'm looking forward to seeing you right here 